Greetings, everyone. In today's video, we will be taking a look at my second favorite character in Enfield, and likely a fan favorite for the OG Arknight fans, Angelina Ajamu. Angelina is a thermal stuff user who specializes in large-scale AoE combat. Her basic attack is a cute, magical girl-style three-string combo that deals thermal damage. Her main skill, Arcane Staff Overload, creates a thermal field around a designated area. Three seconds after the skill is cast, that area will detonate, dealing massive thermal damage to all enemies caught inside its blast radius. In addition, enemies hit by this skill are inflicted with lift and grants a 20% chance of creating a thermal orb inside the affected area. This ability is a very good opener, although its range is nothing too crazy. It does allow you to get the drop on enemies before they can lock onto you. Her ultimate, Arcane Staff Gravity Field, creates one of the largest AOE fields in the game and bombards all targets inside with a volley of flames. Enemies inside the field are severely slow and are inflicted with lift for eight seconds. Her pursuit attack only becomes available after her ultimate is cast. Her basic attacks will become empowered and deal bonus damage against lifted targets for eight seconds. Switching characters after the ultimate is cast voids her pursuit attacks, so be sure to stay on her in that eight second window. Her passive, adaptive field restores 4% of her ally's HP every second after her main skill is cast. If you cast the skill before the enemies can aggro to your party, they will not gain the restoration effect. And lastly, Arcane Staff Navigator will reduce value required by orders when she is assigned to the trading station at your base. Like I mentioned in my Chen guide, the potential tab is likely constellations, and they were locked during the beta. And here are her personnel files for those of you who would like to learn more about her. This character is extremely cute, and I know most of you guys find English VA offensive for some reason, but her English VA is definitely earning that paycheck. There were times when I felt lost and confused, but I never shied away from thinking about it. Every passing moment is my very own ordinary yet exciting life. Did you feel this way as well, Angelina Senpai? For weapons, we are rocking the legendary Tower of Will. Obviously, when the game comes out, I will be running a free-to-play option. But this thing is a pretty great stat stick. Her main skill is already a pretty deadly skill, but giving her the ability to further reduce the enemies, stability on crits is massive, and of course it has crit substats to boot. For the essence, we got lucky and got a pretty good crit rate piece to drop. Its second perk was unusable, but one does not simply pass on a 33% crit rate boost. For gear, we just went with whatever was going to give her the best crit rate to crit damage ratios. There was a thermal set available in the beta, but I didn't have enough pieces to make it work. With that out of the way, let's get into some gameplay. Her gameplay loop is a pretty simple one. Auto attack at range, cast your skill when you are close to your allies to heal them, and target large groups of enemies with it in multi-target scenarios. For her ultimate, just make sure you stay on her for the eight seconds duration of her basic attack empowerment state. Assuming the characters in the beta are going to be the launch characters, this one will definitely be the one I re-roll for. If you found this video useful, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you would love to see more videos like this. Until we meet again, friends. Joy, and I'm deeply honored and duty-bound to serve as their courier. <laughs>